Today, we're going to be talking about whether you should start print on demand in 2020. So I've been experimenting with print on demand, both on my own website, as well as using services like Teespring. And I've learned quite a bit. This video isn't coming from the perspective of someone who's incredibly successful and doing millions of dollars in print on demand, but I think it could be a really interesting and valuable video for a lot of you. So let's first talk about the positives of print on demand. Number one, it's a very low barrier to entry and testing is fast. You don't need a lot of money to get started. If you have a new design or a new concept idea, you can quickly put it on a t-shirt and test whether it does well. You can instantly run some Instagram or Facebook ads or whatever, and you can see if people like it, if you start to get sales, and maybe you, you can create more designs similar to that, or you can just kill it all together and choose a new concept. That iterative process is very fast with print on demand because all you have to do is generate that design and then upload it to your website, you know, through something like Printful or Teespring or whatever. Um, and it's super fast. So unlike other business models, you don't have to um, you know, talk to suppliers or buy any products up front. And as I said, it requires a pretty small budget. So if you don't have a lot of money and you wanna get started you know, experimenting with some business model, maybe learn some things, then I think print on demand is a pretty solid option. It can give you a good understanding of advertising because you may have to run some ads for your t-shirts or whatever. Um, and it may give you a good understanding of how to start websites, how to use e-commerce, how to start selling online. Um, so I think you can learn a lot from something like print on demand and it's a great that it doesn't really require a big budget to start. I'd say the only thing that's going to require money is if you want to hire people to make your designs, the advertising cost, and then maybe if you want to do a Shopify website or something like that, then you're going to have to pay that $29 a month or the hosting fees for whatever website uh, host you're going to use. Now let's talk about some of the downsides of print on demand. It's very difficult to sell an undifferentiated commodity. Let me explain what I mean by that. Um, everyone sells t-shirts. There's thousands of people selling t-shirts. So the only way that you're going to set yourself apart is the design or the brand. Now brand takes a long time to develop. And if you're in that process already, and if you have a solid brand, you're probably not watching this video. The people that are watching this video are probably people who are just getting started or who haven't started, um, and are looking to start in this business model. So look, you need to develop a brand that's kind of necessary, or your designs have to be really, really good. Your designs have to be something that provokes some sort of emotion that appeals to a specific audience who's super interested in that type of t-shirt or mug or whatever. So either your design has to be really good or you need to have a really good brand. Um, and the brand takes a lot of time to develop and it's hard to create really good designs the first or the second or even you know the first five tries. It's a very iterative process, but the good thing is, as I said before, it's pretty easy to go out and test different designs. One of the things I like about print on demand is a personalization niche. I think it could be really interesting if you could set up a Shopify store and allow people to upload their own image and customize it that way. There's a lot of opportunities in that niche. There's people on YouTube who have made videos about personalization. I think you should look into that if you're gonna start print on demand. If you really wanna start a print on demand store, I think personalization could be really interesting. A lot of people now, they don't just want to buy some generic product. They want to buy a product with a picture of themselves on it. So look into that if you can, because that's an easy way to differentiate yourself from everyone else who's just selling regular t-shirts. Another downside of print on demand is the profit margins. Let's say you're selling a t-shirt for like 20 bucks, right? That's pretty reasonable, $20 for a t-shirt. Um, and the t-shirts cost like $11, $12. If customer acquisition cost is like four or $5, there's very little profit margin, especially if, you, if you're paying for other things, if you're paying for a designer, the profit margin is gonna be very low. So you either need to get your customer acquisition cost really low, which is difficult and takes time, or you need to build up a brand so you can sell your t-shirts for like $25 to $30, which also takes a long time. So don't expect to make a lot of profit, you know, right off the bat, because it's very difficult to do so. You make it, you may be able to get a couple of sales, um, but being very profitable with that, um, and actually making a lot of money with that is pretty difficult. Again, revenue does not equal how much money you're actually getting at the end of the day. You know, that should be pretty obvious. So please keep in mind uh, how much you're paying on your ads. Please keep in mind how much, you know, these companies are charging you to print on t-shirts. Please keep all of that in mind um, before you start and throughout the remainder of your business. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, hopefully you enjoy this and you learn something from it. Hopefully this made it a little clearer to you whether you should start print on demand. All right, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.